Right, hello again, welcome back. I want to look at unit 316. Okay, and this is what we're going to be looking at overall. Now, what I've done is to uh, put this on the computer stage by stage. Okay, so please bear with me now. I've taken this, you can see, unit 316. Terminating and connecting conductors, cables, and flexible cords in electrical systems. This is work you would have done already. This is a lot of work you would have done. And you would do that automatically and by naturally. So most of this should not be new to you. But it's putting it in writing, taking photographs of it, and making it into form part of your portfolio. That is the thing that you will need to be able to do. So I'm just going to pan in so you can see what it's asking you here to do overall, okay? Now again, just panning in, okay? Now this, you need to record in as much photographic evidence as you can. You need to write up your reports. You need to do your method statements, your self-assessments. You need to do your witness testimonies, etc. Okay, you need to have your observations done by your expert witness, which is the who is the electrician you might be working with or your supervisor. Keep that in mind, that, that is important. Okay. This is again just for your information. Learning outcomes 2 and 3. Now, all this tells you here is what it expects of you in regards to learning outcomes 2 and 3. You can read this for yourselves. Okay, or you may have handouts of it already in your folder. Look at it. All I've done is to expand it. Okay. Okay, so I'm just moving down this now. Again, read this for yourself. You don't need me to do this for you. Again, here's a, type, a list of cable types you should have worked on. Take photographs of the job you've done. Make up, get information from your on site guide. Photocopy the doc documentation in regards to cable types, how the cables are constructed and how they're made up. You find this information in your on site guide or in any electrical installation handbooks. Use the information available. Tell us about the cables you have been using. Right here, the best way to provide evidence is with photos. As I've said here now, okay, so just let me pan out a little bit so you can take in, get it into place fully. Okay. Okay. Now what I've done here now is to actually look at outcome one, three, one, six. Okay. Unit 316, okay, and again telling you what we're look, looking at. What I've done here is to give you some information as to how, what each element is asking for, okay? Now you may, you may need to clarify this yourselves in regards to your, when you come to view it online or on YouTube. I'm hoping that it comes out okay. So, okay. Keep in mind those each piece, each element. Be aware that it's asking you for something specific. Okay. Now again, you don't need me to read this out to you. We're at outcome two now. Okay. And again, you can read this for yourselves. 
And again, I've done a similar thing here. I've given you information as to what it's asking for in respect of that particular element. Okay. And again, you can see range, range of elements of cables and, and types of cables you should have worked with. You've done this already. You have worked with them. Get get photographic evidence. Get them written up. Produce a little documentation as an assignment in regards to cable and use that to bring that into play. I'll come free. Okay, and I'm just going to pan into outcome free. Okay, you can see here for yourself what it's requiring you to do. You can read this for yourself as well in your own documentations. Now, I'm going to sign off. So what we're going to look at is what we need to do when we come to signing off. Make sure your work is signed. Keep a copy of your work. Have a copy printed off. Have it in a separate folder at home if you need to. Because once you lose this, it will not come back again. You'll need to do it all over again. But it is your this is your life. Treat it as such. Okay. So here you're looking at that is for you, you the candidate. You need to complete that for yourselves. Okay? That should be filled in by you. Here you'll then see what I've said is the electrical assessor. But in my opinion, the electrical assessor should be the last person on here, not the IQA. You then see here what I've said about the IQA. Okay. Now the IQA may not be electrical bias. So here's her knowledge is limited. The IQA is there to ensure that your work is to the standard expected by the college. The IQA is not there to assess the assessor, assessor's work because they would not be qualified to do so. Okay, so bear that in mind that you are the training electrician and the electrical assessor is the qualified professional in respect of the electrical elements of this work. Unless your electrical assessor, unless the IQA has been qualified as an electrician, he cannot tell you what elements is, in, is correct or not. The electrical assessor has to do that. Okay? We're going to stop there now, and I think that's it for 316. Okay? And thank you again.